Hello, today I'm going to show you how to model a differential equation using the MATLAB, the Simulink. So this is our equation, and now we're going to model it. After launching the program, you will get this screen. Now click on Simulink Library, and you will get this tools, and click on New Model. And this is our working screen or area so now click on simulink commonly used blocks these are our tools which we are going to use so at the beginning dy over dt is the integrator click it and drag it into the working place and name it as dy over dt now the arrow which goes out from the integrator is y so connect it to the scope drag the scope from the tools and connect them together okay now as you can see the two the y is multiplied by two so in order to multiply it by two add gain click on gain and drag it and change the variable into two click ok and connect the gain into the y okay now the other side is the 3x so in order to get the x which is independent click on the uh, sources okay now go to the sources and click and find the step and drag it into the screen the step represents the x okay now the X is multiplied by 3 so again go back to commonly used blocks and add gain and drag it to the screen and change it into 3 click OK and connect them together now the last part is the one which is the constant click on constant and drag it double flick to change it, it's already one so click OK now we have to add them up together so in order to add these three parts we need the sum from the tools click on sum and drag it into the screen now connect both 3x and 1 together from the positive sides then we're going to connect the other side so now the arrow which goes out from the sum represent the 3x plus 1 now click and add another sum in order to add the 2y now here change the double click and change the uh, into negative and connect the negative side with the 2y and the positive side with the sum and now we model the whole equation the final thing is to connect the other sum with the other side of the integrator so this is our final result and in order to change the initial condition which is y0 equal to 1 double click on the integrator and change the initial condition into 1 double click initial condition 1 and click OK so this is our final results thank you for watching and have a nice day